step into our time machine as we journey back way back to the Bronze Age. No, not the age of bronze tanning, but the era of the Minoan and Mycenaean civilizations. Imagine a time around 4,000 years ago, nestled in the heart of the Mediterranean on the island of Crete. There, a vibrant civilization blossomed, known to us as the Minoans. Named after the mythical king Minos, these people were pioneers of their age, creating a world steeped in art and culture and etching their legacy into the annals of history. Their labyrinth-like palace complexes and exquisite artistry, from frescoes to pottery, tell a tale of a society that reveled in the beauty of nature and the power of bulls. As we journey from the island of Crete to mainland Greece, we encounter another Bronze Age titan, the Mycenaean civilization. This society, founded by the legendary hero Perseus, was a powerhouse of the late Bronze Age. The city of Mycenae, with its imposing Cyclopean walls and Grand Megaron, was a testament to their architectural prowess. Despite their eventual decline, the Mycenaeans left an indelible mark on classical Greek culture and mythology. Both these civilizations were more than just Bronze Age societies. They were the trailblazers of Western European civilization. The Minoans and Mycenaeans contributed significantly to the world through their unique cultural practices, their art, their architecture, and even their writing systems. They were the architects of an era, the dawn of Aegean civilizations, setting the stage for the classical period that would follow. Now, buckle up as we delve deeper into these fascinating societies. You're in for a historical treat. Ever dreamed of living in a labyrinth-like palace? Well, the Minoans beat you to it. Now, let's journey back to the Middle Bronze Age, around 2000 to roughly 1450 BCE, to the island of Crete, the heartland of the Minoan civilization. This civilization was a veritable cornucopia of unique art, architecture, and cultural practices that still captures our imagination today. Picture this, labyrinth-like palace complexes that doubled as administrative, trade, religious, and political nerve centers. Intricate designs that would give even the most experienced architects a run for their money. The Minoans were pioneers in their own right, and their architectural prowess was only the beginning. The Minoans were also renowned for their vivid frescoes, fine jewellery, elegant vases and pottery adorned with marine life decorations. A stroll through a Minoan palace would have been akin to an immersive journey through an art gallery where each piece told a story of its own. The credit for unearthing this fascinating civilization goes to Sir Arthur Evans, who stumbled upon the ruins of the Minoan civilization at Knossos in the early 20th century. His discovery led to the division of the Minoan Bronze Age into distinct phases, each as intriguing as the next. And let's not forget their sophisticated writing system. The Minoans were not just builders and artists, they were scribes too. With a writing system that included Cretan hieroglyphic and linear A scripts, they documented their trade practices, religious beliefs and daily life, giving us a glimpse into their world. Speaking of trade, the Minoans were shrewd business people engaging in trade with various civilizations around the Mediterranean. Their strategic location on Crete provided them with a unique advantage, allowing them to become a significant hub in the ancient trade network. Though the Minoan civilization met its demise around 1450 BCE, its legacy continues to inspire and intrigue us. Their palaces may have crumbled and their frescoes may have faded, but the echoes of the Minoan civilization continue to reverberate through the annals of history, reminding us of a time when labyrinth-like palaces were the norm and marine life adorned pottery was all the rage. From the island to the mainland, let's set foot in Mycenae, the city that made bronze look cool. Mycenae, the city of gold, was no less than a marvel of the ancient world. Nestled in the heart of Greece, this city was the epicenter of the Bronze Age and a trailblazer in the realm of classical Greek culture and mythology. As the story goes, the city was founded by none other than the legendary hero, Perseus. And if that wasn't enough, it was also ruled by King Agamemnon, the leader of the Greeks in the Trojan War. Talk about a city with a star-studded cast. The city's crowning glory was its Acropolis, a fortified hilltop that served as the beating heart of Mycenae. Surrounded by Cyclopean walls, so large it was believed only the mythical Cyclops could have built them. The Acropolis was home to the Megaron, a grand throne room, where kings held court and made decisions that shaped the destiny of the city. During its peak, Mycenae was the toast of the Bronze Age, a shining beacon of prosperity and skill. 
Its economy was thriving and its artisans were second to none, creating intricate works of art that still captivate us today with their beauty and sophistication. But as they say, even the mightiest fall. Around 1200 BC, Mycenae faced a period of decline. Whether due to civil strife, invasions or natural disasters, the city gradually lost its luster and was eventually abandoned, falling into the annals of oblivion. Fast forward to the 19th and 20th centuries and the city was back in the limelight, this time thanks to the tireless efforts of archaeologists. Excavations unearthed a wealth of artifacts and structures shedding light on the opulence and grandeur of Mycenaean civilization and giving us a glimpse into a world long lost, but never forgotten. Mycenae may be in ruins now, but its grandeur lives on in the pages of history. Now let's stir the pot a bit. What happens when two powerful civilizations coexist? Imagine the Mediterranean world, where the Minoan and Mycenaean civilizations thrived side by side, each with their unique offerings to the grand tapestry of human history. Their interactions were as complex and as fascinating as the labyrinthine palaces of Knossos. Historians and archaeologists have long pondered the nature of their relationship. Was it a peaceful coexistence marked by trade and cultural exchange, or was it a tense rivalry that sometimes erupted into conflict? The truth, as it often does, probably lies somewhere in between. Evidence suggests that the Minoans, with their maritime prowess, were the dominant traders in the region. They were the ones who brought the goods to the Mycenaeans, introducing them to the wider world and its many wonders. The Mycenaeans, for their part, were not just passive recipients. They had a knack for taking what they learned and adapting it to suit their needs, a trait that would serve them well in their rise to prominence. In terms of art and culture, the influence of the Minoans on the Mycenaeans is undeniable. The Mycenaeans borrowed heavily from Minoan architectural styles, pottery designs, and even religious practices. But they didn't just copy, they adapted and innovated, creating a culture that was distinctly their own yet bore the unmistakable imprint of Minoan influence. Yet, it wasn't all sunshine and olive oil. Theories abound about the conflicts between the two civilizations. Some propose that the Mycenaeans, envious of Minoan wealth and influence, may have launched attacks on Crete. Others suggest that the Minoans, unable to maintain their dominance, gradually succumbed to Mycenaean aggression. Regardless of the nature of their interactions, the Minoan and Mycenaean civilizations left an indelible mark on each other and on the world. Their legacy is a testament to the power of cultural exchange, adaptation and resilience in the face of adversity. These two civilizations may have had their differences but together they shaped the course of Western European history. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, here are five fun facts about the Minoans and Mycenaeans that will blow your history-loving minds. Fact 1. Did you know that the Minoans were considered the first advanced civilization of Europe? That's right. They were ahead of their time with their incredible art, architecture and cultural practices. Their labyrinth-like palace complexes and marine life pottery decorations were nothing short of extraordinary. Moving on to fact two. The Mycenaeans weren't just known for their Bronze Age Acropolis, but also for their unique writing system called Linear B. It's an early form of Greek, and it was discovered before the Minoan writing system, Linear A, which remains undeciphered to this day. Talk about a historical mystery. Fact number three. The Minoans had a strong connection with nature and bulls. This was evident in their art and religious practices. They even had sporting events similar to the Spanish bull leaping showing their reverence to these powerful beasts. For the fourth fact, let's turn to the Mycenaeans. Their city was founded by none other than Perseus, the legendary Greek hero who beheaded Medusa. If that's not a fascinating origin story, I don't know what is. Finally, fact number five. Both civilizations met their demise around the same time in the middle of the second millennium BC. The causes? Possibly earthquakes, fires or invasions. It seems even the greatest civilizations aren't immune to the ravages of time and natural disasters. And there you have it folks. Five mind-blowing facts that prove history is anything but boring. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning and most importantly, keep loving history.